Oh, fuck. I am so um, tired, man. I don't know what episode this is. This is episode six. I don't know what that was. We're gonna have remember we gotta speak up because we don't have a mic. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Yeah, that and this is my bad ear. So wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh what the fuck! I forgot my my tissue for my ear. Your t- oh, it's so right over there. T- be, okay, so I might have an ear infection. Is the thing. That's how we're closing out November is with an ear infection. Did you want to grab it for you? No, uh, I'll leave it there. I'll, I'll just leave, leave it. if I need it. Oh, All right. Ear infection. Ear infections. It's not cool. No. I had a real bad one when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. It was like terrible. It was like the worst night ever for me. I was just, I was just hurting. I couldn't enjoy anything. I didn't want to eat. It was, oh, it was the worst, and it was gone the next day. Like it gave me a migraine. Like I was dying inside. I really, I really, really hope. The mine is just gone the next day. Yeah, that'd be nice. It hasn't happened yet. It has not happened yet. It's this is like we just talked about. It. It's been getting worse for like a week, so I'm probably going to the doctor tomorrow. You probably should. Anyways, um, you know, there's some bigger things going on. Like we said, we're we're closing out November. This is, you know, what we're getting ahead of ourselves. This is Philip Hazen to my right. Hi guys. And I'm Chase Todd to his left, and this is uh, the Film Chase podcast. This is episode six. This is episode six. This is our last Woovember episode. Wrapping it up. We are wrapping up Woovember. Uh, this is uh, it's going to be a time for reflection. It's just the two of us. Uh, it's been a while since it's just been the two of us. We've had guests like. on for the past couple of episodes. Yeah. I feel like you're a stranger to me. Uh, we haven't really had time to just yeah. chit chat. Yeah, and you know something? A lot of big things <laughs> have happened, too. A lot of stuff has a happened. A lot has happened. We, uh, that's why we're kind of late getting to this episode. Uh, this is like the, the this is like some day before shit we're pulling this here. Is this like is the like night of, yeah, the morning of, the morning of, of what, what have you. Uh, burning that midnight oil yes. to get out yes, episode sir. six. But, you know, for good reason. We had good enough reasons. Right. Uh, You're house-sitting. I'm house-sitting. I'm you know, a, I got my kid. You got your kid for the, for the Cooper's, holidays? Cooper's down right now, so. You got, we got the holidays. We got Thanksgiving coming up. And before all that, uh, and my ear infection, I turned the big 2-5. Yeah, you did. That was... Yeah. That was before your ear infection? It was before my ear infection. Those were pre ear infection days. Maybe, Friday. Maybe your birthday party and caused the ear infection. Maybe. That's a, honestly, I think it's <laughs> the, the horrible retching uh, I did the next day. You, you pop something. Oh, I popped something. Uh, uh, if not a blood vessel, you know. <sighs> that was rough. We both, we both, you know, and it's fitting because we both talked about puking in the very first episode. Um, I don't puke often, no, but the, don't. that next morning, after after the twenty fifth birthday party, which was a great time, by the way, I had a great time. It was it was as good as I could have hoped for it with the twenty fifth. I really birthday. enjoyed what I remembered. Uh, you know what? And it's like I can't even be mad about you know your outcome, like. It was right. a good time. You know, how else am I going to cap off my big 2-5, you know, without you uh, blacked out on my couch, you know? Exactly. Exactly. I wasn't going to be able to do it for what this Wednesday, so I had to make it Right. Up. You had to, exactly. Blackout Wednesday. Like, I hate that you, you're not going to be able to be there. It's uh, It's tomorrow. It's it tomorrow. tomorrow. Or today, depending it's on. Still, yeah. We'll or a long time this. ago, depending on when you started watching this video. Exactly. But at any rate. <laughs> For present times. Uh, two five was cool. A lot of cool people came over. Um, had some great conversations. Uh, just kind of in the in the Woovember way. Uh, we just we rolled with it. Um, you know, we had set plans that didn't really happen, but it was cool. Like we just rolled with uh, what 
25 uh, through us. And that's cool with it, man. It that was a good time. Right, uh, that was a good time. Good people. Good people. Nightmare and Kenny. Sung by. John. Old, uh, old Aaron. Johnny Cashed was here. So a lot of our guests sung by the 25th. Yes, our good friend John Fall. Shouts out to John Fall. Uh, and Kenny's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Who, we didn't get to say this. I'm glad I remember this. Uh, we, I didn't say this at the party, but uh, Kenny's girlfriend, you're dope uh, for supporting Kenny the way that you do. You seem like a very dope person. Uh, Kenny, seems like you got a good one there. Heck yeah. So, shouts out uh, Kenny's girlfriend as well uh, for being at the party. Heck yeah. I can't really say too much because I don't remember most, most of the time here. But right. I'm sure next week when we have uh, Nightmare back on... Uh, he would love to talk about your what discussions. Happens, uh, if anybody has those details better than anyone, it's it's nightmare. You talked his ear off that night. Good. Well, I'm glad I did. And you know what? I think he's glad he did too. I think it. Be. I think it made for a great experience. So got to see a different side of Phil. He just sees quiet, mm -hmm. laid back Phil. You never saw bubbly, talkative Phil. Nobody on. on None of our viewers have seen what took place. That you, you know, you do come across as so quiet. So I even I went back and I was watching, like the first couple of episodes, especially that first one. And you actually talked quite a bit. I uh, did. And and then uh, you know you just got quiet on us. I, I don't know if it was November to see a lot of introspection right. or or what, but um, well, you know, most of November we had guests. We, you, you talk a lot, and then the people we've had on talk a lot. <laughs> and so when you get in a room full of people who like to talk, it's just someone has to not talk. You know what I'm saying? has got to listen. Not to everyone it. can be talking at the same time. Then you just have chaos and mayhem. So, <laughs> and, you know, I had to keep keep things on track. People lose, like, where are we going? It's like, well, this is where y'all were trying to go before you. Yeah. <laughs> Right. It took this little detour. So, you know, I'm kind of there, almost like a little support guy, just making sure everything, like, you keep the questions in line, and I make sure the kept questions stay on track. It's like, true. You keep it. It's I true. just listen. I gotta listen. You, uh, you keep the, uh, what is it, the gears greased? Right. Or what have you. Uh, you keep the machine well oiled. Oh, yeah. Uh, make oh, sure yeah. It, it runs. Philly the maintenance man. <laughs> That's funny. You know, um, I don't know about you. I, you know, honestly, I'm sure it's the same thing for you. But uh, I have a f there's a few disappointments walking away. From, or I shouldn't say disappointments. I feel like there's a few things that I personally and we both dropped the ball with in November. Right. Uh, but it's okay because I think it balanced out with the things that we did. Uh, we did do. Uh, you can only do so much in a month, I guess. Right. Uh, you don't make especially excuses. if you want to enjoy it. You know, you got to right, get the most out of it. You can't just force. You uh, can't do everything every day. Exactly. I think for me, we didn't get into the music very much. Uh, we just continued to listen to 36 Chambers right. and didn't really branch out. Well, you know, it's, well, even after like the first episode. Mm -hmm. And like you watch the Kung Fu movies and stuff like that. It's like, oh, right, right. And then, uh, and then always, like, with every time watching other things, like, we got into other things, and then, like, which is like, bound to happen. I mean, a lot yeah. happened this month. Disney Plus came out at the end of the month. It was like Rick and Morty came back. Uh, a lot of other things, you right. know. Who knows what else? Certain video games we were playing. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there, I, we, there's, a lot that we did since then that we just haven't talked about. We watched a few more kung fu movies. Did we? We watched uh, the Five Deadly Venom. Oh yeah, I forgot that was after. Uh, uh, which uh, I enjoyed that one. <laughs> I did as well. That one was a pretty good one. And what was the other one we watched? Uh, I don't know. No, because we wa we watched two that night. Um, uh, oh shit! The one where he moves his nuts. Um, oh yeah, I feel you because his son. Went and fought the dude yeah. at the end. The um, Shaolin something, right? The, maybe the Shaolin Executioners? Ah, uh, Executioner from Shaolin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's what it was, yes. Flipped it. Yes. 
but we got there. Yes, we did. We watched both of those. We watched Afro Samurai, the like original mini series. I yeah, we did. Um, and we watched The Man with the Iron Fists. Yep. Or so I guess we did. Uh, it was quite so we a did. We got in. We you know since the first episode. Yeah, we got into. We got into more than movies, I guess. Then. And I think and we still listen to music in our defense. We did. We listen. We still listen to. We would throw Wu Tang on on shuffle on yeah. Spotify. So we never were really focusing on the albums like we said we were going to. If I had to pick one though, of the ones that I heard, like if I had to pick one that I could get into as much as Thirty Six Chambers, it would probably be Iron Flag. Like, I heard a lot of really good stuff off of that one as we were, like, listening to it on Shuffle. Right. But I would definitely check that one out. Yeah, I didn't, like, pay attention to, like, the albums and stuff. When it just would come on, I would just listen to them. Right. I hear you. But, so that was one, for sure. With Wu Vember, uh, Wu Tang uh, took a, a back seat to some of that wellness. But uh, I think, we, you know, if it wasn't for the Wu Tang stuff, it, it, I don't think it would have driven us to do the wellness side of things either. Did really buy the shirt. Did get the get, did get the Wu Tang swag to close out November. He got one too. Yeah, it's just in the wash. Yeah, well, it's actually clean. Oh, oh it's in the shirt clean. Oh, yeah. just did it. Didn't think about it. I feel like you're drinking coffee, and I know you're drinking water. No, the coffee probably would have been a good alternative, though. Now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> it's too late. It's never too late. It's, uh, it's absolutely too late. But I think the wellness side of November, we did pretty good. Um, we really embraced a lot of stuff, said yes to it. And we've talked about it with our guests. Um, I think our diet thing went all right. I don't think we've talked much about that. Uh, with our guests, I think uh, we've mentioned that we were doing the vegan thing. Uh, but we never really talked about uh, our process with all of that and yeah. how that went. And, we had one solid week. For sure. We had the seven day. Well, yeah. No, because the seventh day. The was seventh day was the, was the cheat day, yeah. Uh, and then it turned to like a cheat week. And now just here we are. Well, that's not true because I went out and bought. No, you did. I did. <laughs> but even then, like, we, like, where did we go to eat early? Like Dairy Queen? Like, uh, when I was there, I got something. Chicken. Oh, well, right. <laughs> I was thinking more on the on the dairy side of things for sure, but I don't know. The cheese curds. That's what it was. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheese curds. What an asshole. It happens. You know, it really does. Um, oh, it's like my drink spit on me. Gross. That's what I felt like. I like that one bit. I'll tell you that right now. Now I feel like. Do you ever like ever get something on you and then feel like? It's just permanently there now. Like, yes. I just wipe <laughs> after so far, like, my hand is wet. I was like, I know it's not. I was like, but now I just feel like I feel it right there. I know what you mean. Uh, with this ear thing, it feels like I've got a headphone in all the time. Oh, God. And there have been several times where I go to reach for it. But it's like, dude, you're not. Dude. Well, it's like when I'm listening to music off my phone and it's just playing. Right. And it feels that way. I always think I have a headphone in and I go to pull it out and there's nothing there. Should the same thing with it. like feeling like my phone goes off and when I don't even have my phone on me mm -hmm. I just like well I know that it's nothing buzz like there's nothing in there. That happened, I think that happened to me when I went to dinner with my parents the other night. I felt so embarrassed too because I made a, a big to do about it. Because <laughs> like I thought it was going off like I thought I was getting a phone call. I was like oh hold on a second and I like I pulled it out. I went to answer it and I was like oh I guess not like nothing just completely imagined it. I told you, it's that thing, that psychological connection yeah. that you have with your, your phones. I've heard about it. I've read it. And it's just, uh, it's just crazy. It's yeah, crazy. It We're programmed, you know. It's just like instinctual, like to just, oh, <laughs> like a gun it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just well, we, off, we totally went off the rails. What were we talking about? Wellness. Wellness. Um, yeah, because veganism, we're talking about the diet, veganism, yeah. the diet. We, we did all right. For the most part, um, I don't know. It's something I'd like to continue doing. For sure, uh, it'd be something easier to do with more money. Yeah, Sometimes it's it a is. Harder to... Well, and I think the other thing I really learned with that is like it's not as expensive 
like if you if you cook a lot more right but then it's just like you gotta spend that time to yeah. cook and to learn and, and all that and so you know it's a it's lot just, to uh, lot to bite off it's a commitment yeah. regardless yeah it's yeah. definitely a, a lifestyle mm -hmm. you know um what else what else sing the karaoke i guess that happened we went out yeah which is like i think a bigger thing for me because i don't i'm not yeah big on the i'm not big on, on the going out i'm not big on the bar scene i'd, I'd take a a chill sesh at, at my place or somebody else's place over hitting the bars any day but uh we've been going out and uh it's been a lot of fun i've uh we've met a lot of cool people uh had a lot of good times um Heck yeah. Yeah. You got to sing. I danced because just like in episode one, dance whenever you can. Right. And you know what? Uh, that was something when I went, I'm glad you reminded me. When I was re watching episode one the other day, um, I didn't even know re watch episode one the other day. It was, uh, I was going through it for other stuff, for promo right. stuff. And um, you talk about. Uh, <laughs> that's when you're like i'm gonna i'm gonna keep dancing i'm not done dancing and it's like you know what you were not satiated and we went out and we we danced so fucking hard uh we broke your ankles again you're like <laughs> well my cast were definitely screaming that's i was it. hurting you did cast my hard my hammies my thighs mm -hmm. and we did it two nights in a row too yeah we did yeah it was just it was intense it was but it was a good time, for sure. Uh, was back on the radio show again the other night. Yeah, Same you as you. Because uh, you got a job this month. I did. As well. You got to at the movie theater. Uh, yeah, there's just, you know, things really looking up, I feel like. Things yeah. Things are, are starting to take, take shape. Getting yeah, my car back. Getting the car back. Getting the car back. For everyone who's curious about the, that story. story. Still not gonna elaborate on the details, but and you don't have to, and I never will, unless I want to. <laughs> Philly puts his foot down. Heck yeah, get my, yeah, get my car back, get to see Coop for a bit. All good things, all good things. All uh, good, yes. All good. Frozen came out this month. Frozen came out this month, so all good things, all good things. <laughs> uh, in the I feel like not a lot of people are liking it. Not a lot of people are liking Frozen too. Yeah, that's, I, that's kind of how I'm feeling Pudgy about it. said it, it was a magical experience, and I don't know why he'd lie to me. I don't think he, maybe it was for him, but I know some people are just like, that was dumb. I was like, nope. Hmm. The guy who's training me is like an anti Olaf guy. Oh, he was one of those. He was like, I hate Olaf. I was like, oh, he was like, one of my favorite parts of the first movie. Like, right. That's what made me fall in love. I when feel I like watch for for the first time was <laughs> Olaf. Like, like, characters oh, like fuck. Olaf always appeal to me. Like uh, was that hoodwinked with the little squirrel? Mm, and, yeah, you know, oh, you can see that one. The squirrel. Like any of those characters, that's like the little side, like just goofy little like you know what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> yeah, Scrat from like Ice Age or like right, whatever. Like that's it's always the... that's always gonna be your favorite one. You know, it's like he's the he's the show stealer. <laughs> he's you know? uh, the fan favorite. <laughs> kind of, you know, the same thing with, like, uh, I guess, Alan. I like the hangovers, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the same. True. In the live action sense. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, just those lovable people who are just, just goofy. And well, just we're going to have to see Frozen bring too. Bring a smile. I mean, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch it regardless. Really? I don't, I don't care if people fuck are Fuck the haters. Are you shitting me? It is what it is. I mean, I, I've seen the first one. So they just need to let that shit go, man. <laughs> it's... It's always let it snow, but it's always fun to just say let it go. <laughs> no, that's the uh, that's the Frozen song. Let, let it snow. go. Oh shit! Yeah. Did you think it was let it snow? No. <laughs> I just did it for this moment. I always because I always want to sing let it snow, but I will sing let it go. I, I guess I did. Deep it's down, almost, I don't know. know, something about it being let it snow is so much better. Uh, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, just somebody that's just... You gotta worry about it anymore. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh. Uh, what are some of your, um, I don't know, what, what are some of your thoughts on November? 
I enjoyed it. I liked it. I wish we would have went to Temple or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, that was another one we really did. That was a that was, uh, that was a hard loss for me this month. Looking There's still time. It. You know, there we can't we can't rule it out. Just because we've been presenting, that doesn't mean we're we're done. Well, know? no, for sure. We're I mean, definitely gonna say, be just a lot for of the it. sake of November saying that we were going to do these things. I wish just one of the things. Well, because we missed the like the first two weeks, mm -hmm. and then the third week something special was going on. Yeah, right. There was for week. whatever reason, and then yeah, I had my kid yeah. this week. I mean, it was just a bunch of things. But, I don't know, it's hard to let life be an excuse yeah. for not doing things. Cause mm -hmm. Just because other things are going on doesn't mean you can't make the time yeah. to do other stuff. Right. It's time management. Yeah. That's, what, you know, that's come up a lot uh, this past month, for sure. Well, it's a big thing, you know, with wellness and in, in anything. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure you put that time into it. And it's easy to just not, you know, like when you get those times where you don't have to do anything, it's nice to just not sometimes, but no, I there's a balance though, for sure. Right. And sometimes <laughs> it definitely, it is a balance, but sometimes you do have to take those times to just not, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, you need a time to decompress and like reset, mm -hmm. but no, when it's being lazy and when it's necessary, right. you know, like there's definitely a difference. You know, for sure. I definitely think you can feel the difference. In, yeah, in, in, if you feel like you're not doing anything, it's probably because you're not doing it's, anything. Yeah, it's because you, know? you could definitely be doing something else. So like, all if, like if you're kicking yourself in the ass, it's probably because your ass is kicking. Like you know, what I'm saying right. like. Well, okay. that's what I said about the. Uh, you know, I want to get some writing done this week. Uh, I have all this free time on my hands. Um, and it's like I've got this like, in the in the back of my head. I'm like, take take your PlayStation with you and like play, you know, right. video games all week. And it's like, well, you know, that's just one more distraction. Like you've already not done anything the past few days. Like, don't don't keep this up. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, because it's just time management. I'm just choosing to do nonsense shit instead of you know something more productive. Right. Uh, yeah. I feel you though. The the lessons continue. The November spirit will live on. Uh and we'll have to we'll return next year. I mean it's or uh, next year, I suppose. It's a whole mindset. Like, because we still want to keep continuing doing what it is that mm -hmm. we're doing. So I mean I don't think I've ever in my life been so excited to join a gym. Like, you know oh, for real. I'm not a physical person like that, but it's no. just like uh I mean, I've been there. I'm bit. fucking stoked for some reason. I think it was. I think it's from my my job, like over over this year of working it, and it just been a very physically demanding job. Like my body has had a taste of like just constant physical activity, and it's like give it, right. give it, give it, give it. Like I need more. Like so, yeah, I, yeah. give it to yourself. And it's like I definitely felt better. You know, just like uh, when we were just for the the week that we did it. Uh, I felt great, you know, like it felt way better than usual. Like, didn't oh, yeah. have so many stomach problems and shit like that. Surmise that I'm probably just lactose intolerant. Continues to order cheese curds at Dairy Queen. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> You'll never know until you really get down to the root of things. What the problems are sometimes. All right, sometimes. You know, I was thinking about this the other day. I live. I, I thrive off of trial and error. You know, I, I do. I like my whole life, no matter what type of scenario, whether it's like video games or, or life. Or no, like, I'm gonna try this, or okay, it's well, just like trial and error. Like, way. you know, my like, uh, you know, a lot of authority figures in your life are usually like, do it this way, and this will get you those results. And it's like, I don't doubt that, but let me just try right. to figure it out on my own. And it's like, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, yes, you were right. But then other times I learned like, okay, you're not wrong, but there are other ways to do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's that uh, curious nature of mine. For sure. Um, that that uh, person that just wants to learn all the time. Because it's like the, you know, in math class, it's like you can get to the solution of some problems in different ways. There's no like one right answer sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, so yeah, there's always... Different Not variables, like it's just it's just numbers. It's, yeah, you know. 
That's pretty cool though, for sure to learn. Learn. Yeah. Experience things. Knowledge is cool. Knowledge Sometimes is cool. it sucks. Sometimes you wish you didn't have to learn some of the uh, things that you did. Sometimes you wish you hadn't learned some of the things right, you learned. Like, you know what? I probably could have went without knowing that. <laughs> you know, like, damn it. Um, what have those? I didn't need a trial and error on this. Excuse me. You're excused, man. Protect the kids up in me. Quits the show. It quits the show. Um, in the most polite way possible. In the most. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having me, folks. <laughs> and this um, has been PCP, and it shuts the camera off, walks out. Please stand by. <laughs> just fucking black screen. Uh, it's just you, you one last look at the camera right before it cuts off. <laughs> uh, 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 bye, Phil. Bye, Chase. You can still hear me, so it's fine. It's true. It's not the same. It's not the same. Well, it's a good thing I'm coming right back. What happens if one of these episodes we both decide to get up at once and the audience is left with nothing? Then you cut it out. Then we are done. Then we are done. Um, Movember. Movember. Uh, what? Um, do you have Do you have any more thoughts on on Movember? Anything you felt like we missed the boat on, or anything that you're happy about this Movember that you feel like? Uh, uh, you know, it was a really good uh, Movember moment for you. Hmm, like a highlight Movember moment for me. Let's see. Oh, Tell you what. Golly. Tell you what. It's not the end of the show. Just, there you go. Don't make it my top five. <laughs> it's not the end of the show, but uh, I could go for Philip Hazen's top five uh, moments of Movember. Oh, Jesus. And he did it anyways. For him personally. Uh, top five Movember moments. For mm. Phil. Poor Phil. Let's see. I'll say your birthday was one. Yeah. The big I two mean, five. Big two five. I feel like I really got to talk to people mm -hmm. that, you know, like your friend Spencer and mm -hmm. Aaron and, you know, you really get John to, and yeah. all them. Like, it was really nice. Show. Yeah. It was nice to get to show that side of me a little bit and all that. And, oh, yeah. Because I don't know, because, you know, sometimes I don't talk a lot. So some people are like, well, what's up with this dude? He really don't say much, does he? It's like, no, I can't. It's just, yeah, finally in the right setting, really. Right. Um, so that's one. Um, we'll say going out to the bars was fun. It was a good time to just go out and do, like you said, do something that we haven't really mm -hmm. done before or do often, I should say. Um, let's see. Also, I gave him spend time with my son. That's been a nice positive... Uh, Good bonding time, get to, mm -hmm. you know, strengthen that bond more. And it's been fun having him. I always enjoy seeing him. It's I, been a blast. Uh, yeah. He's been real weird with you this week. He has I don't been. understand He's, why. It's I, don't like, I don't feel like the last time he came down, he was that No, bad. he was super stoked about me. And and he has his moments, but I feel like I just caught him at such grumpy times. You, you know, usually like, do catch him right after a nap. Yeah, and it's just like, I get it. I, I wouldn't want to see me right after a nap. <laughs> it's like, who is this man? I, you know, I, I, don't really I had to, and I had to talk this out with somebody else. Like, I had to, like, I had to remind myself uh, to not let a two-year-old hurt my feelings. <laughs> it made <laughs> Megan cry. Though. Man, it almost happened for real, because, like, I, I brought him the, the, the birthday present. Right. Because uh, we, you know, we're birthday brothers. We, we share we share the same birthday. So right. I, like, Your Uncle present, Chase, I'm man. Uncle Chase. I got to come through with the toy. And so, uh, I was so, like, hurt, when, like, that you saw me keep trying to hand him the Pikachu. Yeah, <laughs> and it it's like, I started to get self-conscious. I'm like, Phil's going to notice how dejected I'm looking. <laughs> and notice how, like, hurt I'm feeling because of this two-year-old not taking the toy. Like, even when I was, like, picking it up, I'm like, you see the toy? You see it? Like, oh, no, I'm, I'm crying. I'll take it's it back like, if I need to. Oh. That's funny. So that's three. That's it. Oh, shoot. Um... Four, I guess I'll say going out with you did when you did stand up. Oh, okay. Because I know I wasn't really in a good mood that day, but I still, still at least made the effort to go out and try to right. put myself out there. So that was a, a he, pound of that. Trust, you trudged through. It was a low day, and I tried to make a positive day out of it, I guess.
so that was, that was the Wu Vember try, you know. Um, I mean, I'll say the Kung Fu movies because I haven't really, yeah. we never really watched them, so that was a pretty cool experience that you get to. It was, and, I, and I still, even though we didn't really watch a whole lot more, um, I still got the list. Like, I'm still excited to keep watching them. Like, I'm excited that we've introduced Kung Fu movies right. into the 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 game, you know. So, I'm looking forward to checking that out further. Heck yeah. And then a little six piece for you. Chess. I'm glad we got to play chess this uh, time. Right. I am too. And uh, honestly, there have been times recently where I've almost played you in chess, but it's just like I know what that entails. I know it's where a it, learning I, experience. Yeah. And it's like, it's never been the right moment. Like, there's always something else getting ready to happen. And I wanted the time to play the chess. Right. Like, I, you yeah. don't want to sit there. You don't want to feel rushed or not into it because like when i get on chess it doesn't matter what's going on it's like <laughs> well like you i zone know. in like okay yeah. all right now it's time for chess Hell nothing yeah. else matters <laughs> i it's can't a, wait to yeah. teach coop chess that's one Prod of my prodigy uh, child heck yeah that's gonna be a a bittersweet moment whenever he beats me like oh uh, soon becoming the teacher that's right man but that's what it's all about, you know, giving, you know, passing it forward. Pass exactly. It on. And, you know, take what I did and I want you to go even further. You live, you learn, you pass it on. Yep. yep. And it's sad, you know, with the child and everything, it's like, you know, people live and learn and they try to, try to tell. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, people don't want to listen. Sometimes like, nope, I got to figure this out. Like, I well, think I said this on yeah. another, on an earlier podcast too. And that's or just maybe we just talked about it. I don't know. Either I think we've, we've definitely talked about it. Before. We definitely talked about it. Right that's now. definitely what it is. Like uh, that's I know that's how it is for me. Like sometimes, like I just gotta learn. Like right. I hear what you're saying. It's so like, worse. The, the concern is genuine. We, it's like, we, we don't have to like this. Just do it this way, and it will work. It's like, eh, well, but right. we want to do it that way. <laughs> I think on the show before we talked about uh, hearing certain things from like a different person. Like, yeah, uh, yeah you hear the same thing from the two different people, too. and like, yeah, and like it. It hits harder because yeah. you heard it from like a certain source, you know. Right. Uh, but yeah, because it's almost like sometimes, you know, it is that third person that like doesn't know you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're still saying like the same thing. Like, oh, right. Okay, this is almost like a, a universal. Like this is right. like, this is just working. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like this is yeah. just one person telling. Me. Now I'm hearing it from, you know, a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think I think I talked about this on the radio the other night when you weren't there. But I was talking about our our Wu Tang names that we were given. Oh, so slashing. Yes, and General, and, Brave. And General Brave, and how I I said that how I, brave you were this month. Uh, I, well, I was telling them that I feel like the names are something that uh, it's not something that we are, but it's something that we are uh, meant to become. Like it's right. something that we are meant to like. I, I you once know, you hit the the woo, that's when uh, it's right. Coming. It's it's the kind of the same thing as like you know just uh, uh, you know the way just you know just right. the, just completely uh, enlightenment. Uh, you know you, you just hit the you just hit the full right. woo, uh, and you transform into your Wu Tang self. Uh, mine being General Brave, but that's definitely been what Wuvember has mostly been about for me. Is like being having the courage to do things that I usually don't do, uh, or just generally don't have the courage to do, and to be brave. You know, sir, slashing. You gotta, you gotta take your your lists. You gotta slash through it. You gotta right. take those. You gotta take those problems. You gotta, you know, knock them down. You gotta knock them down. You know. I feel like <coughs> I feel like it's something that we are meant to to, to grow fun. into. Yeah. But it was good. I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we had November. Uh, I'm looking forward to it again next year. We have Thanksgiving to look forward to next. Yeah. Uh, that's the uh, day after this comes out. I don't uh, know how it's going to go. Should be interesting. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. It's usually a good time, but... Holidays are hit, or, so. hit or miss uh, when you're uh, growing up, I <laughs> you know. So, so I I'm hoping for a good one. I don't see why we shouldn't have a good one. Right. Uh, 
but uh yeah I, I i don't mind thanksgiving sometimes it falls on my birthday and that gets weird but yeah uh, i don't know it's never really been one of my favorite holidays to even begin with that it's just i hate like, that people are like oh you get to eat food i'm like listen eat food every eat food holiday whenever the fuck yeah every holiday you eat this on shoes like yeah and it might not be like the turkey and stuff it's like but you can if you really want to make a big old turkey and all that kind of stuff on Easter, no one would stop yeah, you. Nobody like, oh, would stop like, you. Oh, there's like, usually a big old like we like, usually pay out on Easter. You know what I'm saying? Just right. like stuff like it. Fourth it's July, just like an excuse. To, the Super Bowl, like yeah, fuck me, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Turkey's ever been like one of my favorite meats to even begin with. Like I'm like oh. I well, know we just talked about it earlier today. It's all about the leftovers, baby. Yeah, I don't know. Even the leftovers are not like. Mostly eat the sides. I mean, I'll eat turkey. Oh, for you know, sure. Again, it's there. It's there. Might as well. <laughs> but uh, I, I usually you. I usually go ham before I go to turkey. No, I definitely. But I'll eat it's the dry. turkey. That's dry. Turkey's dry. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That's why I go to ham over to turkey because the turkey's dry. But I'm telling you, man, just a nice little, little, uh, just nice two pieces of bread with some leftover turkey and just mayo and like you're off to the races dude oh um, no you're not a condiment guy so the mayo is like so it'd really just be a dry well, shit fest dry. of a sandwich it's, so it's, like i maybe you wouldn't like it maybe but, uh, would it. i mean i still eat turkey it's sandwiches. heaven on earth for me well it's, it's more never, like the best damn it's turkey never been crazy about turkey. about turkey do what it's never been crazy about turkey i hear you it happens yeah, yeah. it is what it is but i don't know I've never really been like a huge meat guy either, I guess. Uh, I've always enjoyed like beef. But like ham, ham's cool, but like even like on Thanksgiving, I'm never like, oh, I gotta eat like 10 slices of ham, you know? It's just like I'll eat like two and I'll eat a little bit of chicken that I think looks decent enough. I'm like, okay. And then, but I don't, I, don't, I don't gorge out. I don't eat like three, four, five plates. On Thanksgiving, I'll eat like two. Right, that's like, how I'll it get, is. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get one of everything, and I'll go and fill it back up on my favorite side. Exactly. Eat some dessert, and I'm like, okay. Well, buffet no, style, no. bro. That's how I do it at the buffets too. Like Chinese buffet, I'm gonna hit it with the fir first plate, second plate, and then like if I if I'm really that hungry, that third plate will be like going back for like the hits, like for the sides that like I just can't get enough of. But usually it's the two plates, then I hit the dessert plate, and I'm done for. Like. Like, I almost wish I could get some, like, noodles for the mashed potatoes, because mm -hmm. well, that's real good. I know my grandma will have the noodles. But I know we're not having the noodles, so now I'm pissed that Are I you wish trying I, to go to Thanksgiving with me, I, I wish I would have just, like, when my sister asked well, just any request. You should have the noodles, man. I, just, I, I didn't think about it. Like, I was already not in a great mood. The message was already like 30 minutes behind. I was like, I really don't care about Thanksgiving. And so I was like, mm -hmm. no, no request. I don't want to sit here and think about it. But then afterwards, it was like, because I don't know, because then it was like, when I'm with Cooper, I'm not trying to be on my phone. But then that's when I feel like everyone wants to try to get a hold of me. Like, people want to talk to me. It's like, oh. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I'm trying to focus here. Like, I'm not trying to be distracted. So just ah, uh, just shoot off a message. I don't care. And then I was like, oh, because like the same same thing about the macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, let that be dope. I don't know if we're having any good rolls. Rolls like rolls are like my highlight. Yeah, we yeah, usually do the, the beef great. house dinner rolls. Yeah, you, you just can't go wrong there. Um, Even if somebody just shows up with like <laughs> a package of Hawaiian rolls, like hey. You're the life of the party. Like, Man, who doesn't I, like some Hawaiian? I, I know. I do love like the little crackers, summer sausage, and like cheese and shit. Oh, dude, like, I will fuck up a cheese ball. I love, <laughs> sure. I love cheese. I live for it, and I have been so disappointed. The, the little pickles and like green, black olives and shit. That's oh, I hear you. Not a fan yeah. of all that myself, personally. Um, but yeah, but. I know what you're saying. I, always, I don't know. You're not a big sides guy if it's just sides. But I mean, I could just fuck up sides all day long. Like, you know, man. Well, it's not even that. I just don't like pickles and olives. Yeah, well, that yeah, happens. They, they, everything else, though, is fair game. Like, if you got some carrot sticks. Carrots. Well, like, yeah, those are usually thrown in there. Yeah. With some, like, ranch in the middle or some shit. Yeah. Plan, I know there's others, know. too. Yeah, I mean, you can do... 
I know there's some that are pretty like celery and I, I, I can do and celery too. Yeah. I like celery. I always get it when I get Now we're just sitting here talking about food. We like. I always <laughs> well, that's part of Thanksgiving. These are all things you But this, and like, it's bullshit. It's a bullshit. It's not your favorite holiday. Whoever is like, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, fuck you. Because no, it's not. You what know what? That? I say we're a neutral show here at PCP, but I'm taking a stance. Bro. Oh, Chase is I'm taking a stance. Chase it's, uh, puts his foot down. The market, I'm episode my foot down. six. Fuck a person who's like, I love Thanksgiving because you get to eat like all this food. It's like, okay, see you in a month at fucking Christmas when we eat all the same food. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, well, I don't. Which I love. I love that we have tamales every fucking True. year. Because any time that I've ever been with someone who just has Thanksgiving food on Christmas, I mm-hmm. fucking hate it. I'm like, where are my goddamn it's, uh, fucking tamales? It's, it's a white person thing. Right? It it's, is a white person thing. Everyone's like, oh, turkeys for Thanksgiving and then yeah, hands, and for, and Christmas. hands Christmas. for Christmas. It's like, fuck you. And your but it's always like on Thanksgiving, turkey's the show, but ham's a side thing. Like ham's there in a supporting yeah. role. And then they flip the script uh, in Christmas. You know, you know? See, I will say, I think it was last Christmas. My mom made that duck. Oh, that man. shit was fucking banging. That shit was good. I, mean, I, I don't was think like, I ever that's that. something I could get. But yeah, maybe I don't imagine that was my first time. She was like, I don't want to try it. That shit was so moist. It's like the complete opposite of a fucking turkey. <laughs> of a turkey. I was like, this is what I want. I want it to be. See, that bad because I love chicken. Because, like, if I mean, I cook decent chicken. Like, you can get it juicy and shit. Right. Over there, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I hate dry. I just don't like dry food yeah. because I'm, I'm a, you know, you. I'd say that, but I'm, like you said earlier, I don't do condiments. Right. I'm a dry guy. But, you are a dry guy. But that's dry not human, thing. That's dry, not even true everything. though. Because I'll do barbecue and I'll do honey that mustard. Is true. You do have your condiments. You like and I will just... even let it slide on shit. Like if I get it and it's on there, I'll that's just true. You're it. not like you won't. If someone were to make me a sandwich, like I've had people make me sandwiches and just. Yeah, because everyone it. loves mayo and just yeah. put it on like, almost enough. But I'll eat it, and you know, half the time I'll typically enjoy it. I'm like, it's not bad, but it's not something I'll ever go. Out it's like Kenny with his music. He'll listen to right. the music, but he's not gonna go out of his way to get it. To like, I'm not to going it, yeah. to pull out the jar of mayo and like slap it. On I will there. say on the mayo front, I like. I will eat. The sandwich, if it's Miracle Whip, but I'm not happy with you uh, so like, Miracle it. Whip. It matters. It matters to me. There's a difference. There is uh, a difference between see, Miracle Whip and either. like real mayonnaise. I don't eat it. <laughs> yeah, like you don't eat either, so you don't have that problem. But real mayonnaise, I'm gonna take a stance on everything right now. What do you want me? You know, uh, uh, so sour cream. I know you're about sour uh, cream and onion. Is that what you said? No, just sour cream. Uh, sour cream. I know you're about. Is what I said. I'm, a, I'm about the creamy flavor. That's the hardest thing for me as a vegan right now. As a vegan, that's what a dick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the, as, as an aspiring vegan uh, branch and shit. Like I was gonna buy, I, I was gonna buy vegetables. Branch. You're more of a you. You're just like if it's white and cream. Give me the cream, like baby. It. Alfredo, fucking like, red sauce on pasta. But you'll, like, but it's crazy though, because I was thinking about this while we're at fucking dairy queen. It's like you'll say fuck red sauce, but then eat marinara with no problem. It's like it's oh, the but marinara is like fine though, like. But even That's then, even saying. then, it's like, like marinara is like marinara is like a bland thing, though. I don't want that in my pasta. Give me the Alfredo sauce, goddammit. Like, oh no, I don't feel like. I mean, other people I've known, <laughs> like I'm, I prefer the red marinara's sauce. Marinara is not chunky. It's just smooth. It's you just don't sauce. have to get chunky just, red sauce either, though. I know, and that's like I get it's it. I get it. I, I get it. Oh no, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel it, and other people are too. I just. I need I a real I prefer red over white. And you know if I were to put my foot down on it, I I could go without the outfit. I don't care how many cheeses it has in it. I really don't. Um, <laughs> you know how many vegetables I didn't buy the other day just because I couldn't dip it in ranch? That's funny. Yeah, Walkley. it's like... Uh, I was gonna buy the whole thing, like the whole little like little carrots, the broccoli. And I was gonna dip it in ranch, and like I didn't buy any of it. I didn't buy fucking any of it because I couldn't dip Maybe it in ranch. Just a dip it raw, or like a veggie dip or something. Like it's just it's just good. I don't want to eat all the shit raw when I know there's a better flavor out there, and uh, there's, got, there's got to be a vegan way to do it, right? I'm Cut sure it's up and season it with something else. And probably could you just use the like the packet of ranch no. and with, like. I would assume not. I fucking hate being vegan. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> what a dick. 
<laughs> but uh <laughs> no like we went to mo's and then like we stopped the, doing the veganism thing i was like no i wish i was just got fucking cheese and chicken <laughs> and <a> fucking burrito because <laughs> you were all like this ain't too bad this, but it's it like, wasn't as opposed to you know you know as opposed to what's not good for you <laughs> right uh i will say this about the veganism we talked about this the hardest part of veganism is, is everybody else's I'm bad sorry. fucking attitude about veganism. Oh, no. Like, because my mom was talking about it. I was like, well, you need to get all these vitamins and stuff. But it's like, mm-hmm. you know what? I hear what you're saying. And you have, yes, you do need to make sure you're eating these other foods to get, you know, everything right. that you need. But you can say that with anyone. Because most people are like, you're not getting yeah. all your vitamins from fucking meat either. Right. Like so, it's like, you can talk okay. Bell every fucking day. I assure you, you're yeah. gonna get all your I mean, I mean, I can't really say shit to my parents because they actually eat pretty healthy. Like, well, right. too. but I just and, but like in general, because like, that's not how I want it. Yeah. Everyone's just like, oh well, you have to eat meat. It's like, well, te- technically you don't. Like you can get everything you need yeah. from except B12, and it's the same thing with meat. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of people get meat from B12 either, which is just like a common misconception because that's what people think. Yeah, and so it's like, okay, well whatever so when's the last time you got to a doctor and like checked and like actually looked to see what you all are good on it's just you know it's that, like uh, how healthy do you are you really or are you just saying shit because you're not dying it's like it's just people <laughs> just not thinking it's just not it's people just not willing to educate themselves and that like it's it's a very black and white way of thinking right where it's like this is the way you do things and this is the way you don't do things and it's like well that's not true there's always multiple different ways to do things but it's like you're so used to eating this certain type of way or cooking this certain type of way that like you can't even fathom this right. over here. Like, and that's so like my parents and well, my family. My mom just started so coming it's... around. She's like, oh, I know somebody who posts vegan recipes all the time. She's like, get a Pinterest, get a Pinterest. Like, she's been very pushy about the Pinterest. People on their fucking social media. Uh, speaking of so Pinterest, young. and because I watched it today, I watched Bolt. The little <laughs> agent kept on like she'd be the actors check with the saying mm-hmm. stuff he's like you know we're just gonna take this conversation and we're gonna put a pin in uh-huh. so that's <laughs> i thought that was he kept doing it too it's, so that was that was funny and so when you said pinterest you got pinned i see so that's you where uh, thing. Yep, so that's i where got I you got that from <laughs> that was my connection there and i just had to, I had to say it. It. but uh yeah your mom's getting around telling you to get pinterest yeah um, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that she's cool. supportive. Yeah. She comes around eventually. I think she's just, uh, uh, I, that was a big one for me this November, was getting my parents to go uh, have Thai food with me for the first time. I feel like your mom probably was a lot more accepting of it. <laughs> she, you know, she was like, she, she talked her jazz about it, but like, she. For her credit, like, she definitely, like, gave it the old college try. And my dad was like, what are you doing to me? Like, what are you? And it's like, it was nothing I didn't see coming with him. But it was like, uh, I was glad he was there. I was glad he gave it a try. Right. I tried warning him about spicy stuff with, like, Thai food. Like, I was like, it ain't, it's, it ain't the same. Like, I'm telling you, like, like you're going to not want to get, like, the high level of, of heat. Right. And, uh, he got they, like, don't, they don't play around. He, they don't fuck around, man. And they, they that's where I have to go to they get got the like, hot ones. Dude, they for real. They uh, they got chicken fried rice, I think, and they're like, uh, we'll do medium heat. And uh, my dad took <laughs> one. <laughs> my dad took one bite out of it, and he just goes, <laughs> just has the look on his face, and he's, he's just like, like he's like, it's a different kind of spice. <laughs> and I'm like, it's not even just. <laughs> My, my mom and dad both were like, it's, it's got to be a different kind of spice. And I'm like, it's, I assure you, it's no different than what we're using here in America. <laughs> they just and that's they just know how to utilize it better, I guess. When, uh, speaking on spicy food, my dad went over to Korea when he was in the military. And, you know, because he, he also enjoys spicy food. Like, he, mm-hmm. like, turned me on to, like, eating spicy food. He put the Tabasco... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, because that's like, because I feel like that was probably my been a big turning point for me. Never really ate ranch <laughs> on a pizza. We never really yeah. had it. I've always preferred like the, the hot sauce. French and yeah, but on uh, just on pizza specifically, always mm-hmm. hot sauce, like always. And uh, he was telling me not to get off track, because so he likes spicy food. So when we went to Korea. He, him and his buddies went over to this restaurant. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make it spicy. And, uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, you want it spicy? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, we can okay. take it. <laughs> so, uh, so he gave it to him. And it, like, tore, like, it was hot. Like, <laughs> it was bad. So every time Ooh. they went back afterwards, he's like, you want it hot? And they're like, not so hot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you can turn this up. And so he's laughing. Apparently, they're, That's funny. They, they had a nice relationship with them. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a different. It's a different kind. Of, <laughs> oh, different, different, kind of, different kind of spices here. <laughs> yeah, they uh, sure are. That's funny. Yeah, he oh, he man. had a, he had trouble picking out what he was gonna eat. He was very flustered. Medium. Uh, I don't know what any of this is. Uh. <laughs> I thought he had a game plan. See, I thought I he, know, he, he looked ahead. He looked ahead, and I don't know what happened. He's like, uh, okay, your dad knows what he's getting. It's all good to go. Man. No way, he just. He did. He pulled a U as soon as he got on stage. He's like, right, you know he said, "Fuck the plan. Like, We're gonna freestyle." Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm sure the wait didn't help because then you guys have to wait. We a had minute. to wait a little bit. You know, that's was one of those busy, things. Was it busy or is it just bad service? I know we we both uh, had plenty of uh, conversations about our, our dads, the, especially this past month, <laughs> and like. This was our Thai experience was just one of those moments where it's like I can I can feel the like the 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 good changes with me and my dad like because it's like I just like when he gets his certain type of way like I just like I can't help but like it's so silly to me you know it's right. just like here's this like grumpy motherfucker I was like you don't have to be all grumpy like this you you know you know it's like it's like the guy came to the table and it's like even I had to admit. You know, and I'm a pretty patient fellow when it comes to, like, waits at restaurants, like, because I get it, you know. Even I had to admit, it's like, all right, I think we've been here a while, and, like, other people who came in here after us have been getting their food. Like, it is kind of strange. So, like, dude stopped by the table. I had it under control, and I was just telling the dude, I was just like, oh, yeah, like, uh, I, I think we, we're waiting on our food. And, like, I, I had it under control. Dad swoops in, and he's like, yeah, we've been waiting for 50 minutes. <laughs> it's just it's like, like 15 or 50. 50. And it's just like, it's well, just like. that an exaggeration? What? Uh, mm. Oh, sorry. Really, really, sorry. <laughs> but, but, but whether that was an exaggeration or not, like, the, the, the fact of the matter is line. that, like, just the way I was saying it, the dude was on top of it. Like, he was going back to the kitchen. He was coming back with our food. But, like, that cuts in, like, halfway through and is like, yeah, we've been here for 50, bah! Well, like, the somewhere it jumped up. Like, he, I wasn't being aggressive enough about it. And, like, it's just, like, same results, man. You know? It's just, like. He's going to go back there and check out the only, the only difference is my heart rate is the same. <laughs> whereas I get spinning, whereas uh, yeah. you've alarmed the next three tables uh, over. <laughs> Everyone does uh, been waiting for a minute now. Everybody else just got their shit to go and is leaving. You just scared <laughs> everybody off. They just automatically start bringing up to-go boxes. They're just like, hey, you <laughs> just stay. We feel the tension in there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can leave if you want to. But it's just like, you know, it's one of those things. Where it's like, And it's like cardinal rule. Like, it just, it, like, you don't do, yell at the server. You don't, you don't fuck with the people who make your food. Like, they made a whole movie about it. Like, you don't do it. Yeah, like, it's, you know, it's crazy you know to talk about that because it really is like a thing people really will fuck with your food <laughs> it really and is. it's crazy to think like because you know as much as i've worked in food and same as you it's like yeah. i would never fuck with someone no food. way i'm like, not in my right mind could i ever just like knowingly like spit in someone's feud oh yeah feud, feud. 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 spend their feuds <laughs> fuck the feud. you had golden mccoy's <laughs> pieces of shits but uh, or you know pubes or you know right I could never do anything like that I I'll, the the worst thing I was ever a part of is uh when I was working at McDonald's somebody in the drive through I was like in high no, school you want dig <laughs> <laughs> just started slapping my dick uh, on a McChicken oh you want, you want a McDicken <laughs> and it's like uh, <laughs> it's uh no, somebody Chad when you saw my name was Chase <laughs> somebody somebody uh. <laughs> ordered like a McChicken or something like a very particular type of way and like was being very specific about it. and I went to like hand it off to the next prep person to put it on a bun and it like tumbled and oh, it like it hit the ground I was like shit I was like I'll make another one and the person he goes no no and it's like that person was being a real bitch like she can deal with it and throws on the bun out the out the window I was like now did the actual sandwich hit the floor or is it just a wrapper? Oh no like, the chicken that went on the okay, sandwich, yeah. And I was gonna make a new one, but uh, you know, 
You know what? I, I, honestly, I guess I can't say there's been times where I fucked people over. Like on shit, I'm like, nah, mm. fuck you. Like, I'm just like, mm. sometimes it's the little things. It's like, I'm gonna <laughs> skip your fries. You know, it's the little things. Like. So, you know what? And the thing is, it's like, that happened to me. You know, so it's not, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, that's karma coming mm-hmm. around, you know. Yeah. I skimp out sometimes on people with chicken. No, no, on the chicken tenders, I will say, if they ever seemed light, I would always. I'm honestly the opposite because, like, I want to be the kind of person where it's like, you don't give me an excuse to fuck with you and, like, vice versa sort of yeah. thing. It's like, I mean, I will always be the person on the other end of things where I will hook you up. Like, if you're I good to me, I will be good to you. Sometimes people are just assholes. And oh, and then they're just the you. assholes, yeah. It's like, I had to make this Dude, shit. people have like, just been waiting 50 minutes for fucking, uh, you know, food, man. Sure. I mean, I had to make this chick at <laughs> Arby's once. Three Max Roast Beefs. I messed it up twice. Like, she didn't want cheese on it or something. And, like, somehow, some way. And, like, she kept complaining. Like, she complained about the first one. And the second one, I accidentally got the cheese. And it was like, that's 21 ounces of meat. That's, like, a right. pound and a half. It's like, really? Like, you fucking just... Killing me. I was like, fuck you, man. Like, I, I, th- I feel like we're going to have all sorts of now. like old jobs be like hitting us up. Or, like, McDonald's is going to hit us up and be like, you can't tell that story. You, you can't. can't. It's like, you know, you what? can't let people, people know what you tell did. tell worse stories on the internet, anyways. Right? Some people like really spill the beans. Yeah, like. true. I'm not trying to like snowed in it over here. Right. I'm not trying to like break anything open that you don't already know about. It is that McDonald's. these aren't uncommon. Yeah. Guys. It's not like I said, you know, like we just. It was literally 10 years ago. So it's like, yeah. you know. <laughs> and what, I mean, this really are not I don't know. Five second old men. Like, I mean, I get it. McDonald's is gross and I would not eat off of their floor. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. if someone's being. If it was one, if something goes boink, you, you know, and oh, and jumps back in your hands onto the bum. Yeah, well, sometimes shit happens, man. Uh, it's uh, like volleyball rules. Well, one bounce. It would bounce. You I caught one. it before it fully. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure restaurants, happens. man. There's probably all sorts of shit that we could get into there, but like I said. <laughs> Every corporate thing we've ever worked for will come down on our heads and be like, "You can't talk about that." Fucking well, censorship. Well, Beefel, Arby's, and McDonald's. <laughs> where, where, where are they working? I read their lips. Get them. <laughs> I read their lips. It just cut out the whole, the uh, whole wording scene. All together, you can't read lips. They're gonna have Phil and Chase sandwiches at Arby's. We're Phil and Chase. I already have a sandwich out there. That's right. Uh, the Philbert. The Philbert. Right, the once a uh, uh, once a year in good old Murphy's Murphy's Bro, Tennessee. Tennessee at uh, what's the place called? Uh, it's uh, J- J- uh, Jack Browns. I was about to say Jack Browns. You can get the I want to say Jack Black. And Jack, like lunch. Jack Black's place is uh, Jack Black's. He makes me. Uh, he makes a burger after me. Um. um oh. I was. Uh, you said oh, I'm so. No. Uh, you what were you gonna something. say? Um, Jack Browns, the Philbert. Yeah, once a year. And like around my birthday is actually yeah. the one it is, which is funny. Oh, yeah, out yeah, for a week. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. I honestly, I feel like I've had one, but I don't know now. I feel like I did though. So, we're uh, I think we're getting close to the end here of the show of episode six. Oh, shoot. I, I uh, that long already. I don't know about you personally. I just uh, I wouldn't say I phoned it in this episode. But I'd say I, I wasn't, I, you know, I wasn't everything I could have been. I, uh, Why got, not? I got an ear infection. You just want to uh, you know, uh, Yeah, it's just late. We're, you know, last yeah, second kind of kind of deal. Getting it done. Uh, it's the holidays, you know. It's 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 work. It's this, this a, week. It's, it's a work recap, this week. You know, it's a recap. We're just looking back. But before we go, I think we we'll look ahead. You know, we should. We'll look ahead. Because we got December coming up, and after much deliberation, uh, shuffling through many different themes, we landed on December, like the letter D, December, uh, right. flashed up on the screen, December. Oh, D and space, so the, put a dash if you'd like, oh, or whatever, whatever, it whatever. Matter. but it's all things the put letter D, around D. Uh, cause we had, we were going to do, we had depression December at one point, dark December, We've December had, for Disney, 
so a lot of a lot of D's and and, and uh, our our guests uh, a couple weeks ago, Humbly G, uh, suggested December, and I said, you know what, that's great. And so yeah, we're heading into December. Um, it'll wow. be cool. Uh, you know, we'll continue all sorts of things. Heck yeah. Um, have some more guests on. Uh, I'm excited to find out who our guests are going to be for December. It's right. kind of, I know Nightmare is going to come and kick it off with us next week. And that's all we really know for sure. And that's all we really know for sure. Who knows what else uh, um, this December holds for us. Uh, probably a lot of Disney talk. You know, we got a lot Might of Star well. Wars to cover. A lot of Star Wars. Isn't there a new one coming out yeah. next month too? Episode 9. Supposed to close out the saga. And then what, just build off of it? And then spin-offs. Yeah. Spin-offs for the rest of our days until we die. <laughs> but shit, between the Mandalorian and Fallen Order right well, now... I mean, that's such a long time gap, too, I feel like. What is... It went between episode one and nine, like... Oh, for sure, there's so much know, history. And not yeah. to mention on either side of it, too. You know, right. like They just love to build that world with the books, with the movies, whatever. But, but, you know, that's something we'll get more into in the next month. month. Yeah, that just uh, sounds we'll weird. We'll probably watch all the movies. To check out. I'm excited to watch the ones that you haven't seen. It's only like two. It, it, it is, but I'm very I haven't excited. seen Solo. I haven't seen the Rogue One. Rogue One and oh, The Last Jedi. Yeah. Because um, I love The Last Jedi. Again, something we can get into another time because I will go off on that one. Right. Uh, and I'd rather rewatch it before. Good. Yeah, have a fresh memory. Well, I feel right. I have to pee. Phil's gonna end I the try, show. I pee. try to wait, and I just can't wait. You can't just not piss on the show, can you? I can't help it. Well, Phil, you have anything else to add? No. I don't either. Uh, sorry if we didn't give you everything you wanted in episode six, but uh, we're recovering from birthday celebrations and earaches and preparing for the upcoming holidays. Um, as usual, thanks for, for watching. Please subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I've been Chase Todd. I was Phil up. And uh, this is uh, PCP, Phil and Chase Podcast. <laughs> That feel good. Feel good enough.